one out on the BMW R1250 RT. It's a 1250 Boxer two-cylinder. Hey. Right up front. Yeah. Like yeah, it's way up there. <laughs> Golly, look at this TFT, 10 inches. Uh, let's start it in. Oh, it's got eco mode too. We're going to start in road mode. So this is a two-cylinder. I can feel a little vibe in the handlebars starting off. Those four-cylinders sure are fun. A little bit lower. See, I, I think this bike is about $27,000. I probably won't figure out all the $27,000 worth of stuff on here. Whoa. Okay, visor, that pot's hot. Oh man, this is a plush ride. <laughs> Remote key not in range. It's not possible. Okay. Interesting. That kind of threw me off for a minute. I was like, uh, is this bike just going to stop on me? Maybe they still have it back at HQ. All right. So initial impressions of this bike. Uh, the seat's pretty comfortable. Uh, very comfortable upright ride. Like I said, it's a big two-cylinder boxer, which is very BMW shifter down okay so this engine is not nearly as smooth as the inline four i think i've just grown to uh, appreciate the inline four engine so much that <laughs> now the twins are i like smaller parallel twins i think those are great for small bikes when you get to big bikes like this i don't know that i like the twins on them it's all right yeah I don't think this has a quick shifter. <laughs> or at least it's terrible on that upshift. Or it needed more revs. Or I'm terrible at it. Certainly has good power. I like that. I think the weight of this bike is 620 pounds, something like that. Obviously, once you're at speed, it doesn't feel like that. So it's it's not hard to manage once you're on it. Of course, this has the heel hold as well. And disengaged it. Cool. That's a that's a neat feature, especially if you're sitting at a traffic light for a long time. Just trying to digest all of these controls. Again, I don't have time to go through all of these, and I don't want to try to figure it out right now. I mean, this is plush and luxury. Like, uh, I would not buy this bike. I don't like the engine characteristics. I'm sure it has a lot of nice features, speakers, radio built in, all that jazz. I think that's a spot to plug in for heated grips. Or heated grips. Heated gear. I mean, it's a nice ride, but I don't I don't think I would spend my money on it. I think there's better options out there, especially for twenty-seven thousand. And that's just where it starts. BMWs are <laughs> whatever price you see on the website that's not what you're paying go ahead and add another three or four thousand at least for whatever package they have to add you into now don't get me wrong this is a nice engine I do I, I, I mean it has plenty of power and it is pretty smooth it's just it it feels more vibey and just grunty and a little bit more raw than what I'm used to. I like the refinement and just kind of the smoothness of the inline fours. So, I mean, that's that's a personal preference. So don't let my necessarily, um, I don't want to say dislike. I mean, I'm, this is, I'm sure it's a great engine. It is a great engine, but it's not for me. Feel that torque? Feel that torque? 
Remember Pat when he rev it, it just poof. Yeah, it got, it's got a little much to it. So. Very torquey ride. Yeah, that's, that comes with like the twin. The, it's, 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 it's thrilling. It's, it's got cool. Yeah, I find myself liking the four cylinders though. Just, look at four speed. I'll be honest with you, that's, that's a touring bike. That's, you can do all around, but it's more touring. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. It's a good ride bike. Yeah. It? Yeah. I. I yeah. I, I mean, I agree with you, but I think I like the inline four cylinders a little bit more. I like that smoother feel. Yeah. But you know, that's preference. So, but it's nice. It has its purpose, you know? Absolutely, it does. Depending on what kind of ride you want to do. That's why I like those like that there, and that because you can do everything on it. Right. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I need to try out one of those next. Motor on that thing. Man, that thing is the fastest bike. You can ride at 100, 105, but no sweat just cracked off each other. Yeah. Nice. I'll try dynamic mode here. I mean, yeah, still certainly a good engine. And the brakes are really good. This is. Good brakes. Uh, engine braking on this is pretty strong. Good bike. Um, this is not for me, especially for the money. It's a big old boy. Uh, remote key not in range. It is a very smooth ride and it is an easy bike to handle. One of the concerns is these heavy bikes, though, they're going to be hard to turn and such. And maybe that's true for some once you get really up there in the range. But I'm not finding that to be the case here. This is a, this has still got a little sport DNA to it. So you can um, certainly handle it very well. But um, as the gentleman was just telling me, like this is a this is a touring bike. It's not meant to be super sporty so you're not uh, you're not going to get a lot of fun out of it when you just need to crank on the throttle we lost our uh, leader Found him, yay! Oh. Ah, aha, there's the electronic windshield. <laughs> yeah, this is certainly for knocking out the miles. I mean, this is a great bike, very refined, a lot of technology. And it's going to meet the needs for people who want to travel long distances. For me personally, as I mentioned, I'm not a big of a fan of the, the two-cylinder engine for a touring bike. I think you need a little bit more just to smooth it out. Ever since I've ridden an inline four, I've like, I've just thought like, yeah, that's my jam right there. So that and this bike is base price like, 27,000 or 269 or something. That's that's a lot of money for a bike. Like I mean again, it's got all the features and stuff. It's just I I'm just not feeling it. And I think it's that engine characteristic. But it's the same 1250 that I they put in their ever famous 1250 GS. So it makes me wonder if I would even like it like that bike. But very comfortable ride. I will say that this bike is better than any uh, sport bike I've ridden. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with everything now, but that's okay. We're, we'll make it. So not a bad bike. Not Just not for me.
All right, BMW R1250 RT. So to recap the R1250 RT, it's a big old bike, but it has the 1250 Boxer engine from BMW. And that bike is about $26,000 base cost. <laughs> Good grief. And so it had everything. It had a 10 inch TFT. Heated grips, radio, all that good stuff. I, I guess the price is justifiable. I think just that sticker price already just makes me kind of sour to it a little bit. But I was, I got on it and was thinking like, forget what the price is. Let's just see how we enjoy the ride. It, um, I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know, wasn't feeling the engine. And so, so that coupled with the sticker price just automatically rules that bike out for me like forever <laughs> sorry bmw very underwhelmed i think is the best way to put it you know it wasn't a bad bike it was just not for me i appreciate y'all checking out these videos again check out woolies if you're interested in any bmws and you're in the atlanta area i'll leave a link to them in the description and if you have any comments about the bike leave them down below uh, fill in the gaps where I missed it clearly because there's only so much I can gather in a 20 to 30 minute demo ride but appreciate y'all stopping by please hit that like button and subscribe that really helps me grow this channel and I'll catch y'all in the next one thanks for stopping by ride safe y'all